Hey folks, welcome back to another video of the Flutter development course brought to you by Newton School. My name is Harsh and I am currently working as a Flutter developer at Alihoop and I have worked as an intern at Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology and I have also worked as a Flutter developer intern at a firm named AppScript. I am also an instructor and educator on Udemy and Adionix where my Flutter development courses have more than 40,000 plus enrollments so you can check them out as well. Talking about what Newton School is, so basically Newton School is a platform that helps you to learn and develop the skills that you need for your best tech career. They have courses specifically designed for freshers, working professionals and for women with no prior experience in tech. Newton School first trains you for 6 months and helps you become a full stack developer. They are also having a network of 300 plus great companies who hire directly from Newton School. So once your training is complete, they also ensure that you are placed with one of the best companies in the country. There is also a pay after placement program where you don't have to pay anything to Newton School and until and unless you are placed with a minimum CTC of 5 lakh rupees per annum and that's a pretty great thing. They are also having another amazing initiative known as Launchpad where they are providing you with some of the courses for free of cost and you can go through, uh, through those courses, learn the skills and you can also get a certificate of company completion after that so make sure to check out Newton School and Launchpad through the link given in the description. Talking about what will be covered in this video. So in this video I'll be showing you the implementation for the Twitter sign in and sign out feature and I'll also be showing you the setup which you need to do from the Twitter developer dashboard and how you can generate the keys which you will be needing inside your Firebase dashboard. So let me close this and let us jump to this particular Firebase project which we are working on from the previous videos. And herein inside the authentication, I'll be going into the sign in method, adding a new provider and this time it would be Twitter, enabling it and copying the callback URL as we'll be needing it for registering the app. We need an API key and, a and an API secret key. So let me search for the Twitter developer account. And if you uh, don't have this Twitter developer account already, so make sure to apply for the same and you will be provided with, uh, provided with a developer account. I already have a developer account so I'll be going into my developer portal. So from here when the dashboard will be opening I can create a new project for me and I'll be naming the project as demo app only. Clicking on next I'll be selecting a use case. So for this particular project I can select teaching as I am teaching over here. So clicking on next the pro project description could be I am creating this app. for testing authentication so this could be the project description clicking on next again and now I need to set up an app so I'll be creating a new app over here naming it again so let me name it demo app uh, or testing it uh, this name is not available already so demo app auth testing one but when you will be seeing the app implementation inside the uh, particular Flutter app then it will be demo app or testing all, uh, only. And now I'll be getting my keys and tokens. So I'll be copying the API key from here and we'll be pasting it here. Copying the API secret key as well. Pasting it here. And now I can go to the app setting. And from here in I need to enable the OAuth uh, authentication thing. So I'll be clicking on add it, enabling it, pasting the callback URL from here. So the callback URL is the this one which we uh, added. When I'll be showing you the implementation inside the app, then at that time this callback URL may differ because like I'll be using a project which is already set up and we are having all the things available in there. For the website URL, I can type google.in only. or google.com for the organization URL and for every other URLs which are available so those are just optional ones so I am skipping them clicking on save and you can see that the OAuth uh, is enabled for us from here now the only thing which is remaining is that we need to go to the project and just add the implementation for the same but before that let me add it the UR, uh, image over here from the app icon so from the desktop I'll be uploading my image over here save and now you will also be seeing the app icon as the custom app icon when you are trying to log in with the twitter authentication thing so let me pause the recording over here and let me switch the uh, screen and let me open the app and we can start the implementation for this twitter authentication thing over there 
so here in you can see that i have switched my screen and i have opened the app on which we have worked in the previous video so in the previous video i have shown you the implementation of how you can add the github sign in authentication thing inside your flutter application and we have seen the complete implementation of it from scratch in this video let's start working on the twitter authentication thing so for implementing the twitter authentication thing the first thing which i'll be needing is the package so i'll be going on google would be typing twitter underscore login package going to the installing section and copying the code for the package and pasting it over here after this github sign in hitting ctrl s so that the package is fetched and until it is fetched let's create a particular screen for our twitter sign in so it will be named as twitter underscore sign in screen dot dot and inside this file we can start with our twitter authentication thing so let's start on it at first importing the material dot dot as we do it uh, for each of our projects after this we need to create a stateful widget or a stateful class so stf and waiting for it to show me the suggestion as it is still running so that's why it's taking a bit longer than usual and naming this particular stateful widget as twitter sign in screen next i'll be creating a bool is loading variable as we have it for other screens as well having initial value as false for the next thing what i can do is i can go to the github underscore screen dot dart file which we just created and i'll be copying the code for this particular return statement inside the scaffold which we, uh, scaffold build which we are having and replacing this container with it so it's saving let's wait until then and the analyzing is also running so that's why it is taking much more time so here in it is showing us an error for is loading maybe we have missed something while pasting it let me undo it pasting it again now it should work so like it's working initially we are having a similar condition which we had earlier as well in the previous videos so if you haven't checked out previous videos where i have shown you the implementation of github sign in facebook sign in google sign in and email and password authentication so make sure to check those videos out as well and for this we are having initial condition check then we'll be returned with one widget if it the condition falls in first bracket else we'll be returned with a circular progress indicator if the condition falls in the second bracket and another thing which we are having is this elevated button which is present inside the container and we are having the set state variable which will be setting the value of is loading to true and later on after the complete implementation it will be setting the value of is loading variable which is basically used for displaying this circular progress indicator to false so yeah now we need to work on the particular on press button so earlier we had the firebase services class which was having the function or implementation for sign in with github or sign in with facebook so for this particular uh, per implementation we won't be having that firebase services over here and i'll be implementing the uh, implementation of twitter login directly inside this on pressed only so at first i'll be creating a variable of name twitter login which will be assigned to a value of twitter login and herein we need to pass the api key the api secret key and the redirect url which we have got from the firebase dashboard when we were turning on the uh, twitter authentication thing from there it is still not showing me let me type it again so twitter login which takes an api key so for the api key i'll be copying it from the dashboard 
and pasting it over here so i have already shown you how you can uh, generate the api keys and the api secret key for your flutter project so you need to paste those things over here and also when you are pasting the redirect url make sure to keep it handy because many people face an issue i too faced an issue while i was implementing it inside the github project where i was messing up with the redirect url and it, and it was providing me with an a random errors inside the project so yeah make sure to keep it handy now the next thing which we need to do over here is we need to like run the twitter login a particular login function on the twitter login which we have got from here and we need to store the result in an auth result variable so i'll be creating another variable with the name of auth result which will be having the value of await so this would be an await call which would be made because it would be taking some time to run the complete implementation so it would be twitter login as we have created the variable above with the same name and we'll be running dot login on it and this login does not takes a context as uh, we had passed a context inside the github sign in thing so this does not takes a context after this auth is completed we need to get the credentials as we'll be using those credentials to make a credential a sign in with credential request on the firebase auth instance so to generate the instance what we can do is we can create a variable of type auth credentials so final auth credential having the name as credential and it would be equal to twitter auth provider for github it is github auth provider and from this twitter auth provider we will be having dot credential so there it is uh, at first twitter auth provider dot credential and from this credential we can pass the access token and the secret key which we are getting from the auth result and this will be providing us with the credentials for the same so access token would be equal to auth result dot auth token and a null checker on it and the second thing was the secret uh, particular which need to pass so auth result dot secret or token secret and a null checker on this as well and now we have got this particular thing and we can make an await call on the firebase auth instance so firebase auth dot instance dot sign in with credentials and we can pass the credential that is credential itself which we have generated above and it will be making the call to that particular thing as well and the implementation for this is almost complete i can say it's complete not almost it's totally complete let's go to the debug console and let me open the screen for the app as well yeah uh, we need to add this particular twitter sign in thing inside the home page so we can add that quickly and it will then be displaying us with a button to go to th that screen as well so twitter sign in and replacing this as well with twitter sign and it should show me so there it goes performing hot reload over here and now we are displayed with a button of twitter sign in as well so now when i'll be clicking on this twitter sign in it is taking me to the screen which says sign in uh, with github so let me change this thing as well sign in with twitter it should be hitting control s again there it goes now when i'll be clicking on this sign in with twitter so initially this circular progress indicator would be loading and we are provided with an error which says no implementation found for the set scheme on the twitter login so it's from this twitter login itself so let me see why we are getting an error over here so as it is providing me with an error let me stop the app and rerun the app and let's see if the error goes away and it was only the restart which was needed else we'll be seeing what is the thing which has gone wrong and we'll be uh, working on fixing it because like debugging is also an important part of creating projects so yeah let's uh, let's wait for this terminate to complete So you can see over here that once I have rerun the app, I am provided with an error which says that there is a Guava dependency issue which is occurring. 
so uh, there is already an implementation which is available by the uh, flutter team itself which is uh, specifically to fix this particular error so this is a particular guava uh, uh, conflicting error which will be occurring with guava itself so i'll be copying the implementation for the same uh, from stack overflow and inside the build.gradle file which is present inside the app directory so this is present inside the android and this is present inside the app directory so i'll be pasting it over here hitting ctrl s another thing which i need to do is after adding this uh, guava implementation for fixing this conflict is that i need to add the intent inside this particular android dot uh, android manifest dot xml file so we have already added an intent for facebook that's the intent filter which is available over here and i'll be adding an intent for uh, twitter uh, as well and you don't need to worry about the code it will be available on my github so you can check it out from there on and you can see that the application name is provided the uh, android name is provided category is provided and we are having a data where the android scheme is https and the android host url is the url for the redirect so the initial part of the url that is the project name the firebase app and dot com i'll be hitting on control s and now i'll try and rerun the app because i'm sure that this will be fixing us all the errors for uh, for us also we were getting uh, another error or you may get another error when you are trying to implement the twitter authentication so initially the app will be loading uh, absolutely fine for you but when you will be authorizing the app or when you will be providing your credentials then it may display you with a white screen uh, which will be having some black text written on it saying that unable to find the initial state of the app so make sure to look out for that error and if you are facing this error then try to see the implementation for the intent filter and for the guava dependency confliction which was occurring so make sure to implement those uh, things over here and now i'll be pausing the recording for now and we'll be resuming once the app has started running so yeah let's wait until the app has started so now when i'll be clicking on this sign in with twitter button it will be opening a particular screen for me so it's not visible for you let me yeah so now you can see that it has opened this particular screen for me and it is showing me this custom icon which we have added while implementing the uh, things from the dashboard and it is also showing us the name that is the demo app or testing when i'll be clicking on this authorize app from here it will be redirecting us back to this particular screen and now when i'll be going back to the screen to check if the user is logged in or not so now when i'll be clicking on the check user button over here so let me click it so you can see over here that in the dashboard itself in the debug console itself it is showing us that the username is hexabridge the email is this one and for the profile icon you can see that it is twimg.com and it is saved on the twitter server uh, because like it is having the initial url as tw uh, twimg.com so through this you can see that how we can add implementation for the twitter sign in thing inside your flutter application uh, one more thing which i want to emphasize on is that uh, uh, make sure to add the intent filter and the guava fixing conflicts because like if you are not adding them they will be either providing you with some errors in the debug console or it will be providing you with a screen which will be saying that unable to load the initial state so make sure to uh, check or make sure to take care of that particular thing and yeah this was it for uh, this was pretty much it for this video where i have shown you the implementation of how you can add the twitter sign in authentication inside your flutter application and yeah we have covered the setup from the dashboard as well and from the code editor that's totally from scratch and yep uh, if you got to learn something new from this video then make sure to drop a like comment down below what are your thoughts on this and if you are going to use this in any of your projects subscribe to the channel to get all the updates related to the latest videos regarding the flutter development course a new video is posted every alternate day so make sure to subscribe to the channel as well and make sure to check out newton school and launchpad through the link given in the description they are doing amazing work so make sure to give them a try as well and this was pretty much it for this video i'll be seeing you in the next one